Welcome back to Factorio, folks. We are joined, uh, as ever, by ST Hedgehog, who has made a roundabout. Hello, hello. Round, round, round we go. <laughs> well, a merry-go-round, I guess it really is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And you are playing with nuclear stuff. Yeah, trying to get this system working. Yep. Um, And I'm hoping it does work. I'm a little concerned that it's gonna deal back up, but we'll we'll see. Mm -hmm. I suppose. Okay. Uh, what are these bots doing? Like, so what I want to do is I need a comparator, which I think I have. No, that's a combiner. That's the wrong one. Uh, I think, I think I'll go start building up our defenses down here on the wall that we made. Uh, that's true, yeah, we just have a wall, don't we? We don't actually have any... We don't have any defenses. Uh, ...thing there, no. <laughs> um, if I put no, that up, I'm going to need yeah. a lot of pumps for that. 50, that should do for now at least. I have 100 laser turrets, that's not what I do. That's 200. Don't need that many walls anymore. Um, that. I need global ports. Take that up to 30. And I need kingdom turrets. Right. Uh, where is. <coughs> there. 200. Oh, it appears as if my Discord has reset at some point as well. Getting loads of weird sound effects happening. Okay. I don't know what that was there. Oh, I think that was where I muted the mic to cough. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah, if it's yeah. greater than 82, because we need 40, hey, greater than 80, is it? How much does this need? This needs 40 to run. Come on, bots, give me my stuff. Uh, is there anything else I need? Yeah, if we have more than 80, which is two lots in there, then output on uh, uranium as one. And then you. Oh, yeah. pressing all the wrong buttons. I have enough of that. Enough of inserters. Enough belts. Alright, I think I'm good to go. So I really want to get rid of some of all the iron That's I have. That's the bit that worries me. Okay. Some space. Ah, uh, and you need that. I oh, know. Uh, oh, that's easy. And that should be making us some nuclear fuel. Uh, well, one of them is going. Now the other one is going too. And that uses way more uranium. This should never back up in theory. Well, in theory. I say that a lot, don't I? In theory. <laughs> Well, it's true though. It's true though. I'm doing everything in fit. Well, I'm not. I'm doing it in practice, actually. So, yeah. So let's say it will. It will never back up until it does. Yes. 
<laughs> that that's that sound right. We've got two more chests full of nuclear, full of uh, uranium down here. So uh... right there we go. You have you have all of a sudden loads of nuclear fuel in you. That's a good thing. We have nuclear power now, then. Ah, uh, that's a provider chest. These are requester chests. They have nukes inside them. Okay, everything is set up and everything is present and correct. I just think I've got this wrong. Hold on. Uh, read contents. So I want to say if. Why didn't you pick that up? Ah. Okay, so it's reading the contents, but I need to know how, how do I tell it to look for steam? Why is it not putting down the rest? Come on, guys. Oh, they're coming from up there. Fair enough. Ah, steam. Aha! It's on! Fantastic! It's it's on! It's on! The nuclear power is on. Whoa. And is and is working. And is heating up. Uh it's at a hundred degrees. It takes a while to heat up and cool down, so um I might need to balance these numbers a little bit, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Because at the moment it, I think it's only reading the contents of one steam tank. And if that steam tank drops below 20,000 steam, it enables. Mm -hmm. uh, and starts running, which is what it's doing right now. Um, so you're going to end up with uranium in you. Aren't you? No, you're going to end up with spent uranium. Mm. So, so there's a little tiny bit left to do at the end. The project. Okay. That's fine. You've got exactly 80 in you. Okay, so we've burnt through all of our Corvax and we have uh, all of our Corvax reactions, and we've got 100, 214 uh, fuel cells. Okay. That sounds pretty good. That's way more than we're ever going to use, I think. Okay. That is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, because they use one fuel cell every 200 seconds. Mm -hmm. He's going yet? They're not, they're not, we're not, we're not going yet. We're still... What's being attacked? Uh, the wool. Only the iron defense. Mm. Seems like it's gone now. It's up there. Okay. All right. Fortunately, I am on the other side. Actually, power these here. That would probably help. There you go. Wow, that heat up time is really slow. We're at really? 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go. How, how high does it need to go? It needs to be a minimum of 500. Oh, okay. Anyway, we've got some going. 
Okay, we are producing steam. That is a good thing. Yeah. These need a minimum of... Two hundred steam. They're not quite there yet. Oh, one is going round. What one? One is spinning. Ooh, oh, a different one is spinning. Whoa. Ooh. I don't understand why they leave that one. Okay, never mind. Mm. Uh, apparently none of them are actually doing anything right now because uh, we're running completely on solar. Okay. So they're not needed. So that means he, he, this is just going to build up with steam, hopefully. Be available good. power, 5.8 meg. Where can I see available power? Uh... I'm not sure. It doesn't tell you, does it? No. no. It just says satisfaction and production. Yeah. yeah. So I suppose this will only really kick in at night time. Uh, for now, yes. Okay, so we're at 1,000 steam out of 25,000. Oh, some of these are higher than others. Yeah, that's fine. Shouldn't be a problem. I, I hope, I kind of hope they balance each other, but they don't look like they are. Little annoying. Oh, well. Okay, and we have some use up fuel. This system might be a little bit wasteful, but now they don't hurt when you said no, they don't. I shall stand on some heat pipes that are currently 830 degrees and be fine, no problem. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. Right, so night time's coming along. Uh -huh. Here we go, some steam turbines are kicking in. Chugga chugga chug. It's working! It's working! It's alive! Well done! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long it'll be alive for before we run out of steam. I'm not sure whether we're generating enough. We should be. It should be balanced pretty well. Yeah, that cool down and warm up time on the nukes is, is a bit longer than I expected. Yeah, how, how long is it? Uh, well, they can get up to 2000 degrees, I believe. Mm -hmm. And they're not even at 1000 yet. Oh, wow. So, I mean, it looks like it takes pretty much a game day or 12 hours in game, if you know what I mean, to, to warm up. So, that's a long time. And the steam does build quite slowly. Uh... I, have to, I have to keep an eye on it and see how it works, see how it goes. And uh, if I find out that it's not working, we could just run it permanently and not worry about it, really. Yeah. I mean, we've been, we've been through eight fuel cells so far. And it's okay. not even up to temperature. That's not a whole lot. Not really. Uh, and in that time, if I go back up here, we now have 100, 200, 370 cells. Wow. So we're doing okay. We're doing I'd okay. say so. I'd say so. And I can expand the production out here to actually have more. Uh, mm -hmm. Centrifugal forces, so centrif centrif centrifuges. Okay. Mm. So we could have three of them running at once. Mm. Or more. 
So, yeah, we've definitely we've definitely got the throughput for it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Awesome. All right. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, you're doing defences down there. Yep. And uh, I see you've uh, made friends with the trees. Yes. As always. Right. Uh, and what else do we need? Buddies. Well, uh, we have... well, basically, we need to, to defend up this entire area down here, and then we need to start moving our base, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was the plan, wasn't it? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. So, yeah, so nuclear power, correct. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely have to take a check on that to make sure it doesn't turn the nuclear reactors off too wow. often. Or... Uh, there's a base inside our wall. They're in the walls? They're inside the walls. How did that happen? Did we miss one? Maybe. I'm gonna go tear it down now. So we don't start doing any unwanted things. Sounds like a plan. Oh, I found another one. What? Where? Right here, right. Uh, I, I can't look right now. I'm. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, that's right. That's right. I'm trying to kill biters. Unless they've eaten through the wall. We uh, that, that could be. Put a kink in the wall? Huh? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Doopity doop. If there's, there was a base in there, up where you are now, then... Yeah, just next to the stone. Mm -hmm. Then I think they must have gotten in somehow. Oh, that was cool, liquefaction. Right. It's going to take a while to build these defenses. Um, are we not unloading ammo here? Seems like maybe we're not. Uh, just don't forget you've got to make sure the uh, chests are inside the... Yeah, they are. They are. There um, yeah, we are with unloading ammo. Guess we're just not... Well, just don't have enough. The train will come back, right? Hopefully. This is the soil it's had enough and it yeah. just doesn't anymore. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> right. I'm can... tired of going around in circles. Fill up your own damn demo. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we pay you for. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think maybe we should make some small gaps in the coverage for the wall just so we build an, another supply station that the train can go to so that robots don't have to go from really really far away yeah i think for the i mean really for the external defense you could just have one uh um conveyor belt you could rather than having multiple mortal drop offs you could just have one at one end and just run the belt all the way along yeah that's how i normally do it but yeah i kind of like your idea it, it, it's a bit redundant because it allows it adds redundancy i should say because it allows part of the wall to fall down and not break the rest of it yeah that's true that's true hmm. So maybe do another drop-off point here at the uh, copper. What? Hmm. I don't really know. But there should really be a drop-off point everywhere, shouldn't there? Yeah, there should. Um, like every every uh, external outpost. Yeah. But now they're all internal out outposts. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, that is true. Yes. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. What if I... To put that right on top of the stone, we do a great deal about it, but we can figure it out. <laughs> oh, I've run out of there. Uh... Down there. I think I'll put a pump here. Okay. Let me see. For you. Go. Oh, yeah, there was a hole in the wall here. Oh, okay. My bots have just also come out and repaired it. Right next to where there's a base on the stone, just outside the wall. Uh huh. That's what I should use. Move this off. And then connect up the power. At least some of these can get their feet. Because why? We're going to have trouble. All your explosives done. Good. More efficient. Are you clearing? You need to go, you need to go. You need to go.
I love blowing up trees. Alrighty. This means that we can... Damn it. Train station. Right. And then I guess I can just go copy paste. Uh, when you make a blueprint of inserters and stuff, do the filters apply automatically? Do you know? I believe so. I mean, the chests do. So. Yeah, I guess so then. Maybe we should get two supply trains that are going around or something. We, we definitely need to extend our it current is. theory. Yeah, we do. Uh... We do. Where is the station? Very left handed. We're not exactly producing enough or getting enough of anything that we're doing so true and this will be called the uh, copper pu1 supply Where do I have my signals? Damn it. Right, okay. Let's go back and connect up something here because I built loads of defenses, but they're not connected to the power grid or uh, mm -hmm. uh, anything really. <laughs> <laughs> Although I could take down loads of defenses at the iron base. Um, and move them over. I won't do that yet, but because mm. I extended the wall out that was here, um, ah, just to make it a straight line. Okay. Basically, so yeah. Yeah. So what I really want to do then? Defense, new new defense is something like that.
here. Away. No. No, no defense. There. And then I think I'll put in a pump here. That. And also that. Right. Actually, I think I want a pair. Oh, okay. So we've got plenty of this going, but we have run out of time. We oh. have already. <clears throat> and it does help if you don't disconnect the power connections you just put in. Sounds like it would help. Yes. Yes, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> right, well, if we're out of time, I guess we will uh, call it an episode. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have fun. <laughs>